Hello, hello, and welcome back to Leaky Gaming. Welcome back to another episode of Workers and Resources Soviet Republic Mod Monday. Today we have small party HQ fishing huts and garbage containers. Right, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of mods released, uh, good old days are back, looks like it, but unfortunately it's uh, all maps, uh, most of it is map, I, maps, I think like 40, 30, 40 maps at least released in the last 7 days, so just a heads up, a lot of those. Oskutin and small party HQ, a small Nordic office building uh, with uh, services, uh, what serves as a party HQ. So, if you wanted to have a smaller party HQ, which kind of looks like a decent building like uh, i don't i wouldn't mind having something like this you know it, it looks like it has offices it has whatever it needs to have and i think it's perfectly fun functional um now just a heads up we do have other universities even vanilla ones that are cheaper than the than the uh, original ones which were way 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 too big all of them uh, so yeah uh, just bear in mind that uh, we do have alternatives it's smaller uh, party HQs and we're gonna compare one of them. So we have here party HQ that has 312 students That would be the mod and vanilla 180 students. Yeah, I think it could be a little bit too many uh, Student capacity and usually you wouldn't educate this amount of people in this kind of small building So I would say it's a little bit unrealistic just because of the capacity and more people working here I think it would be prudent or better uh, for the uh, maybe even the amount of people are working it's not really that important but smaller one i think it should have less than 312 uh student capacity but other than that building is definitely really beautiful those are those are, and lamp oil distributor lamp oil distributor an early alternative for powering residential area simulates having a distribution or a shop providing lamp oil for illuminating residential areas and workplaces naturally it does not have any power connections uh it should be placed in the residential areas to directly directly po provide power to them um, this oil distributor consumes oil and provides 8 megawatts of uh, giving 0 0.133 megawatts equals 111 kilowatts 133 kilowatts sorry each citizen in the game consumes about 1 kilowatt while they are at home also consumes a smaller amount of power while at work uh, or service building consumption uh, is also high uh, at night double so yeah this is real very very well thought of thing uh the the little uh, lamp shop which for early stars like even before 1900s uh so 18th century i think it's a really really genius idea you can see here that it has water tank so you need to connect it to sewage it does uh, consume a little bit of oil dinosaur juice so just bear that in mind and it has 10 day supply of oil for something like this that's enough to get more oil from the border or your own supplies so yeah perfectly fine the big uh, mixed waste container is also present here anyway uh we don't have <laughs> well it's a power plant i can compare it to other power plants but uh, yeah, i think everybody should expect that this is gonna be really really cheap so yeah i don't think it's a cheating mod at all another one from those uh but this is a uh, model pub ported from city skyline so credits you have a link there who the credit goes to a small fishing hut three variants intended in a lower tech yield of fish farm uh, only takes wood as an input but in turn produces less meat okay I'll, i will check out what this is but uh, let's check out the buildings they are classic fishing huts actually i think they, they had similar ones in ireland uh, there are some um, old buildings that I visited that were quite similar to this. So we have here a uh, fishing hut produces 0 0.1 tons of meat. Uh, it does have one ton of wood capacity. I think I don't really know what the difference is between these three. Uh, we can find them. I'm gonna go to the mod section straight away and just try to find what the difference would be. There is price difference. Uh, tch -tch. There's a little bit of a price difference, but unfortunately I can't see why. So, my bad there, I really don't know what the difference is, I didn't understand it from the... But, but you have three fishing huts, and all three needs to be supplied with wood, so yeah, just bear that in mind. Visually, they look... Uh, the wood is probably for drying the fish. 
Uh, no, 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 they're just, they're visually different. Yeah, 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 they're visually different. Sorry about that. They're just different designs, so you can, you know, if you build multiple of them, so they will differentiate from each other. Yeah, okay, th this is quite cool, quite cool. I don't know why the price tag is different, probably because of the outer building. Some of them have more or less, or, yeah. Anyway. For more details, link in the description of the video. Calmore and, Calmore and uh, way stations with vehicle optimization. This is so close, so close. I was so hoping that this is going to be the one that has pedestrian access uh, for <laughs> throwing the trash away. But no, please, guys, if you can, make those with <laughs> footpaths uh, that are connected to the waste disposal that it doesn't have to be through road. I'll explain later this is a pack of vanilla style large waste containers stands and garbage transfer stations slightly enlarged to allow better vehicle flow and less congestion this is really important for your recycling industries and some such uh, contains one optimized waste uh, container stand contains four waste containers uh, storages big optimized two slots big one way optimized four slots small optimized one slot and a small one way optimized one slot so um, let's check them out. So we have uh, the one big here, as you can see. Uh, they have, by the way, they have access in the from the different directions. You can see here these are turnarounds, these are pass-throughs. Uh, but this one doesn't seem like it's a pass-through. So I'm, I'm not really 100% sure what is the difference. Bit, uh, why is this one uh, marked as a pass-through when it doesn't have an um, exit on the other side, a uh, road exit, while the smaller one does, so I don't know what the, what the difference between these icons are. And this is container stand with do, 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 better pickup of, uh, of trash. I think this is just for the, for the citizens' usage. But it would be ideal if somebody made actual pedestrian access for these on the sides because there's no reason why pedestrians have to go on a road to access the waste disposal or containers but anyway this is a genius idea for your uh, waste processing plants i think it's really great mod anyway link in the description of the video admiral mar denzis and the barracks one barracks is a type of building uh that can accommodate 16 workers uh, there are also buildings for clinic movie theater store and a bar uh, this mod is designed to create a small base of workers, such as shift workers. Uh, it can be used as a decoration for military base or labor camp. It all depends on your imagination. So yeah, so this is um, uh, something that uh, for all of us who enjoy the early starts, like if you want to be realistic when you have workers building a new city from the scratch, they need to sleep somewhere and usually it's in barracks. These days would be containers uh, with sleeping quarters and stuff like that uh, you know so for on on the on the field on the construction site work and sleep uh, and uh, this was done back in the day even more so because distances were pretty larger and uh, you you had to spend a lot of time on site to construct the actual city and now you have barracks they're all the same uh, but they have different functions so for example here we have a shopping center a very very low capacity just a heads up it has a high meat capacity i really <laughs> i really like that you can see here that you don't have the electronics as well uh, it's not for high educated people uh, you have the cinema, uh, you have the pub, uh, half a ton of alcohol capacity, and then you have barracks for 16 people, and the last one is a pharmacy. Uh, what about the price tag I hear you say? We can compare the... Uh, we can compare the barracks for people, uh, that would be this one here, uh, 16 workers, 2,300 rubles, they have self-heating, of course, that's perfect, and uh, 2,300 rubles, that compares to small buildings, vanilla ones, um, yeah, there you go, it's kind of similar to this one, that is 10 people, so, yeah, I, I wouldn't consider this to be a cheaty mod, anyway, link in the description of the video. Arabic buildings pack by uh, Schaffer uh, 86 Schaffer sorry if I'm mispronouncing this this mode allows you to use the buildings of an Arab Arabic uh, of an Arabic biome uh, which are not available to place in normal game okay so this is really cool um, we had this kind of mods before but this one kind of stands out I really like it uh, again the problem I want to say with these small houses is the reporting issue of the game so when you have a small house uh, even if one person is unemployed it's gonna start spamming you with a lot of people unemployed more so if you have 
uh, housing only for two people. Now, bear in mind, you have a couple of other buildings here. You have a mosque, as you can see. Uh, sorry, mosque one and mosque two. This is something I'm going to be using in my Let's Plays, definitely. I like really how the mosques look like. So, really, really beautiful mod. So, let's see the buildings that you have. You can see here, most of them are residential buildings, except the, oh, sorry, yeah, old Arabic house and mosque and mosque. So, you have two mosques. So, yeah, if you want to build something more uh, for a desert biome, more Middle Eastern uh, style, definitely now you have a chance. What about the price? Again, it's really hard to compare. These uh, houses are quite simple and the quality of the houses is, well, 80% is not that low, I have to say. So price, if it was a little bit pricier, it wouldn't be the worst. But um, yeah, this is something that uh, I you wouldn't be using on the large scale anyway. So I don't think it's a cheating mode. Link in the description of the video. Oskutin and the generic sports field, simple all year round rural sports field. I played on many of these. Unfortunately, in my climate, they're not all year round because when you have a meter of snow over it, it's not really useful. But um, here you have an option to have all year round field. Cheap alternative to one of those enclosed ones. Now, not sure if this is just meant to be used on the, on the, in the climates where the uh, where there's no snow and temperature is not too low but uh, i also can say that we used to get shovels in our hands and clear the football pitches and basketball pitches that we wanted to use so you can you can uh, definitely role play as something like that anyway really beautiful mod you would expect that it would be cheap and you will be right it's only 265 rubles to build one of these only 20 people capacity but i think that's fair enough Anyway, link in the description of the video. Links and his map, Democratic Republic of Vietnam. Vietnam, undefeated. So this is a landscape, this landscape lets you play in the North Vietnam, corresponding to the territory of Democratic Republic of Vietnam before the country's unification with the South in 1976. The map has a simple pre-existing settlements connecting by simple roads and bridges, yada, yada, yada. You will have to go and read more details. Now, this is absolutely beautiful map. Look at this. Look at these textures, look at these mountains, look at these sharp hills. This is going to be quite challenging to do anything around here, but uh, yep, that's the point. So, we have capital of Hanoi here. You have some other cities that I really am bad in geography or, or name of the lesser cities. Saigon would be, uh, or Saigon was, uh, Ho Chi Minh City is the biggest city in the south, but uh, Hanoi is the northern one. Anyway, uh, really beautiful, really beautiful uh, cities with central mosques, or, or sorry, mosque temples uh, in the center, so absolutely gorgeous. Okay, let's go and check out the map. Map is not that big, but it is definitely challenging. You have a border crossing north, that's probably China, and China here as well, and China here as well, all the way south is to the South Vietnam, if you want to do something there and you have Laos and the Cambodia it's bordering all the way down but this is Laos anyway so coal is present uh, in some locations not in the mountains though iron uh, the same situation you have some a little bit more challenging here oil is offshore mostly some of it is on the south towards the South Vietnam border oh you have a border crossing into Laos as well so that's that's nice uh, uranium ore is in the hills in the north, and bauxite is also in the north. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of uh, potential mining in the west, that I, I kind of hope that <laughs> this is going to create a little bit additional challenge, but unfortunately not. Let's check out the border crossing here, and it's Leaky's favorite, well, second favorite border crossing. So yeah, you have options. Anyway, I'm going to leave it here. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, press the like button. If you didn't, leave a nasty comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Like, subscribe, notification bell, or ring it. Comment section, hit it. And if you want to support the channel, I have the description of the video. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one. Bye bye.